in our previous video we talked about the accommodative facility and today we are going to be talking about the relative amplitude okay now let us see what exactly i mean by the relative amplitudes the relative amplitudes could be the negative relative amplitude abbreviated as the nra or it could be positive relative amplitude abbreviated as the pra so what exactly is this negative and positive relative amplitude so in our previous video we talked about measuring the flexibility and the speed with which the patient can alter or cater to the change in the accommodative demand but here in the negative and positive relative amplitude we are not just measuring the speed but we are measuring how well a patient can relax or stimulate the accommodation while maintaining a clear single binocular vision so the key point over here is how much can the patient adapt to the change in the accommodation system so that is your negative and positive relative amplitude so let's talk about that so first we'll talk about the negative relative accommodation also abbreviated as nra here what you have to remember is that minus lenses stimulate accommodation plus lenses relax accommodation this is the basic mantra that you have to remember now the maximum amount of accommodation relaxation or the lens power reduction that the patient can achieve while maintaining a clear single binocular vision is known as the negative relative accommodation so let me explain it to you so here your patient sits at the typical near working distance could be 40 cm and the patient is looking at the nice small target okay give him an accommodative target ask him to read that target loud now what you do is the patient is nicely accommodating but now what you are going to do is you are going to force the patient to relax his accommodation and how much the patient can relax will be decided by the amount of lenses that you are going to put okay so how can we relax accommodation we can put plus lenses so now you are going to introduce plus lenses in 0.25 diopter increments over the patient's distance correction patient is wearing his distance correction right so the, you ask the patient to keep on reading and the point at which the patient re reports that there is a sustained blur that is a point where you stop your test and take the reading and that is your negative relative accommodation so in the negative relative accommodation negative means you are relaxing or reducing the power of the lens that means you are trying to reduce the accommodation and how are you reducing the accommodation you are putting plus lenses and the point where uh, the point at which the patient can no longer take it and there is a sustained blur that means the accommodation has been relaxed enough that is your negative relative amplitude of accommodation all right so the normal range is plus 1.75 diopters to plus 2.5 diopter so where do you see this uh, reduce negative relative amplitude of accommodation a reduce nra basically indicates that there's a difficulty in relaxing accommodation reduce means that the range is lesser than plus 1.75 diopter it indicates that the patient actually has problems in relaxing accommodation and this is seen in case of accommodative spasm now some patients might actually have uh, the nra greater than plus 2.5 diopters and that is known as the excessive nra now what really causes excessive nra it can be seen in case of latent hyperopia now in latent hyperopia if you would have seen our video on latent hyperopia i told you that they are already using a significant amount of accommodation at baseline to maintain clear vision so when positive lenses are added they can relax a larger than expected amount of accommodation because the system was already compensating for hyperopia right so this leads to a higher than normal negative relative amplitude of accommodation similarly in patients who have an, an over minus correction now over minus lenses again you know minus lenses stimulate accommodation right so over minus lenses basically force the patient to accommodate excessively at the baseline to counteract that extra minus power right so when positive lenses are added during the nra test the patient can now relax a larger amount of accommodation resulting in an excessive nra in these cases all right so if you understood that next is the positive relative amplitude of accommodation so here in the positive relative amplitude of accommodation uh, 
positive indicates that you are going to now add to the lens power. That means you are going to stimulate the accommodation. So what is the maximum amount of accommodation stimulation that you can give to the patient till he can maintain a clear single binocular vision? That is your positive relative amplitude of accommodation. Here, remember that minus lenses will stimulate accommodation. So we do the same thing. Patient sits at a 40 centimeter target looks at accommodative target and you are going to add now minus lenses in increments of minus 0.25 diopter at the pa on the patient's distance correction and the test will stop when the patient reports sustained blur. Why minus? Because we want to stimulate accommodation in positive relative amplitude of accommodation. The normal range here will be minus 1.75 diopters to minus 3 diopters. When are you going to see a reduced positive relative amplitude of accommodation? It indicates that there is some difficulty in stimulating accommodation. Where do you see it? Do you see it in case of accommodative insufficiency? And excessive one means that the patient already has excessive accommodative effort at the baseline. All right. So the key differences between a negative relative amplitude and a positive relative amplitude is that number one, the type of lenses that you are going to use in case of the NRA will be the plus lenses. And in PRA, it will be the minus lenses. In negative relative amplitude, you are relaxing the accommodation. And in positive relative amplitude, you are stimulating the accommodation. All right. So here the range is plus 0.75 to plus 2.5 diopters. In PRA, it is minus 1.75 diopters to minus 3 diopters. In NRA, we are assessing the, uh, the amount of accommodative relaxation that can be achieved by the patient. And in PRA, we are assessing the maximum amount of accommodative stimulate, stimulation that the patient can tolerate. All right, so you can also use mnemonics to remember that. NRA is negative relative amplitude of accommodation. And here you can think it as NRA is that patient needs relaxation of accommodation. So we are relaxing the accommodation in case of NRA by plus lenses. PRA is pushes accommodation. So in PRA, we use minus lenses to stimulate the accommodation. So I hope you understood what exactly is the difference between now accommodative facility and the relative amplitude of accommodation. So in accommodative facility, we are measuring the speed and flexibility of accommodation. But in relative amplitude accommodations, we are measuring the limits of accommodation. We are measuring how much the patient can relax and how much the patient can stimulate his accommodation in order to maintain that binocular single vision. The lenses that we are using in facility is alternating lenses. So so what I mean to say is the power of the lens is same. It is two diopters. You are just alternating the minus and plus lenses. But in the relative amplitude of accommodation, you are slowly incrementing the lens power. The assessment in case of accommodative facility is dynamic because the accommodation is rapidly changing. The demand is rapidly changing. However, in accommodative amplitude, it's a static sort of measurement. It, there's a sustained response to the increasing demand. The end goal in accommodative facility is to how quickly can... You are answering the question, how quickly can the system adapt? But the end goal in relative accommodative amplitude, the question that you are answering is how much the accommodation can man, how much accommodation can the system basically manage? About divergence, there's a minimal interaction with divergence in facility. However, in relative amplitude of accommodation, it's highly dependent on divergence and accommodation balance as well. All right, so with that, we come to the end of our series on accommodative testing. I hope you enjoyed the content and it added some value to your understanding. My goal was to simplify some key concepts and if you found it helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future updates and notification. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.